Hi guys, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today I am going to do a very, very special review for a soaping friend of mine. However, before I begin, I need to put out a disclaimer, which is that I did not purchase these products that I am about to review. They were sent to me. Now that we have all the technical stuff out of the way, may I present to you Backwater Beauty, which is an Etsy shop, and I absolutely have loved these soaps. So you definitely need to check them out. It's www.etsy.com slash backwaterbeauty. I'll leave a link below, and you can also check out the Backwater Beauty Facebook page. Now before I get into showing you the actual soap, I have to give you a little bit of a story behind. Um, Rebecca emailed me and said, hey, would you like to review some of my soaps? And you can imagine my face. <laughs> Y'all want to review some soaps? I always want to be reviewing soaps. So she let me pick out what fragrance I won, and she had quite a few listed there, but I picked Raspberry Lemonade because that's very, very summer fun and I just love that fragrance a whole bunch. So she sent me that. So I go up to the mailbox yesterday and I see this package in there with her soap in it. And I'm like freaking out, you know. I always get so excited when soap comes. So I go up there and I, you know, I just can't wait. It's 150 yards away from my house and I'm like, I am ripping open this package right now. So I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm ripping stuff open. And the first thing that I see in there is this. She sent me a dum dum. Happy birthday to me. So back to the point, which is the soap. Here's the two samples. The first one is Lavender Fields, and it came in this cute little, cute little sample pouch. And look at this gorgeous soap. What a beautiful ombre. I can't ever do stuff like that, so I'm always totally impressed when people can do ombres. And the lavender smells divine. It smells better than the lavender I have, honestly. The other sample that I got is the Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds, and I've never smelled the, the White Diamonds perfume, but oh my goodness gracious, the first time that I smelled this, I just had this instant flashback of like 50s glamour and red carpet and jewels and everything that just kind of drips of Elizabeth Taylor, and I love it. I love the whole vintage era anyway, but then this smell totally took me back in time. So this is definitely my favorite. In fact, this is this is better than the original soap that I wanted just because just because of I don't know, nostalgic purposes. But now for the final unveiling of the actual soap that she sent me, which is the raspberry lemonade. Isn't that pretty? Look at those vivid, vivid, vivid colors. That's just gorgeous. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it has a very, very nice swirl on top as well. This smells great. It smells exactly like raspberry lemonade if you've ever had it. As far as properties go, but all of these soaps are very, very bubbly. These are not really creamy soaps. These are more bubbly, fun, you know, super duper lather. So whenever you use it in the shower, you know, it. It, it would last a really, really long time because the lather is so foamy and good. So again, I wouldn't say that it's creamy and it's not the most moisturizing soap I've ever used, but it will get you clean and it will last a really, really long time. Here is the label. I know it's ripped up, sorry. Had to do that to take it out of the out of the wrap, but very, very professional. She has all of her ingredients listed, which I'll read to you now. It's olive oil, coconut oil, water, sodium hydroxide, almond oil, shea butter, palm, castor, sodium lactate, uh, cosmetic, safe co bleh, cosmetic safe colorant, and fragrance. So she has lots and lots of good stuff in there. Now, as far as really good pictures go and packaging goes, I have some pictures that are more professionally done of her packaging and the soaps as soon as they got pulled out of, you know, her um, her little shipping cart thing that we have here. And those are on royaltysoaps.com. That is my blog and my website for those of y'all who don't know. So you can follow that be, uh, by Google Friends Connect or whatever, or by email or you know, so that's essentially, it's essentially my soaping blog and my soaping website. It's kind of similar to like, you know, soap and restless and stuff like that. So thanks very, very much, Miss Rebecca Roy and Backwater Beauty. All of my viewers, you should definitely go check out her Etsy shop. If you're on Etsy, go like her shop, go like her listings. Everyone should go like her Facebook page. Go buy her soap. It's fabulous. You will not be disappointed. Well, I hope you all all enjoyed this review. Next time we are coming back, I am going to be making the oatmeal, milk, and honey soap. 
and I will have pictures of that on the blog as well. Also on the blog right now is some blueberry muffin soap and pictures of that and more soap cupcakes. So yeah, you should go check that out too. I will be back relatively soon, maybe in the next couple of days, and I hope you all join me then. Bye now!